Hey everybody, it's Andrew Ains with Golf Academy here. As always, big thank you for tuning in today. Um, I've done a full review on this club here, which is the Mizuno ST180 driver, and I'm not going to go through all the tech spec on this again. What I'll do is I'll post some links up uh, above me here, and I'll put a link at the end of the video if you do want to go and watch the full uh, review on this. This is a follow-up video for a few people have said, well, ST looks a great driver, but it's a very low spinning driver. And how would it work um, when the club speeds are a little bit lower? So I thought, ah, good, well, we'll test that out. So what I've done is I've taken the ST180 driver, I've set it to 11 and a half degrees of loft, and I've put in, <coughs> excuse me, the Mitsubishi Tenzai Orange series CK shaft, which is a 50 gram reg flex shaft. I'll post a little graphic of all the details of the shaft. Lofted to 11 and a half, as I say. And what I'm going to endeavor to do, and I uh, say the word endeavor, is to try and swing this club at various club speeds, trying at various shop shapes. I'm going to try and hit like um, high fade, draw, vary the club speeds, and just look at how this club reacts see if there's enough spin on it, launch conditions, all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm on my launch monitor as usual, all set to go by the looks of it. And I'm just gonna dive in here and hit a couple of shots and see what we get. So I'm gonna aim, well, I'm not gonna set any aims here, club speed. I'm just gonna play around with some numbers. Let's try this to start with. Okay, that felt, this is where I played a guessing game, and I'm not cheating here, felt high 80s. I'm going to go 88, probably miles out here. Let's bring up the data. Oh, I was miles out, completely underdone myself here. So this is interesting. 84 miles an hour club speed, 14.9 launch, and I've got 2,300 revs of backspin, giving me... 195 yards of carry, 219, 220 predicted run out. So that's a pretty good start. And as you can see on the graphic, straight, no problems there, launching it or keeping some spin on it. Um, what should we do next? I will endeavor to try and hit a little cutty one. Set the stance open. I'm gonna try and swing the club across the ball with the face open and see if we can move one a little bit. Oh, there we go. That's a, a good example of a nice little cut, isn't it? Ball started left to target, spun fairly violently to the right. Not a great shot. Will it miss fairway? I guess it probably would. Let's find out. Uh, oh, 20. Oh yeah, miss fairways by miles. So look at the spin rate on this, folks. Now, this, this has got nothing to do with the driver. That was me just messing around, just trying to hold face open, which I did. 5,600 revs of spin. So that's, that's a largely irrelevant sort of uh, test, that one. Me just being a bit stupid, to be honest. Uh, but that's a shot that some golfers um, who maybe watch this video hit. I mean, it's, if you're hitting that shot without being too harsh, I suggest you go and... Uh, seat your local PGA Pro and get some help with that one, but because uh, that's easily solved. Let's go again. Let's see if we can just control one, ramp the club speed up a little bit. Okay, so again, not a bad shot to look at. Started a fraction to the right of target and then just, just faded out. Club speed's up here to 92 miles an hour and get you the performance data on that one. 91, 92 miles an hour, 13.3 launch, 3,150 revs of spin, missed fairway, first cut, I would say, carry distance 210 yards. So it's interesting. I think with this driver, a lot of people are saying, ah, it's a really low spin driver. That's only going to suit people who generate high club speed. Um, not the case. Remember, there's a high launch version of this as well, which will go all the way up to 14 and a half degrees of loft. If you get enough loft on this club and the right shaft on it, then you can produce some good numbers. Let me go again and see if we can find a fairway. way. 
Okay, there's a little fairway finder. How did that one feel? 90-ish again, high 80s, 90 miles an hour. 87 miles an hour. Let's bring you the data up. I think this gives you a really good indication of what this club can do. Uh, 87 club speed, 204 carry, predicted total of 226. Spin, pretty much bang on. Let's call it 2,500 from a 16 degree launch. So there you go. This club is not just for the low spinners, low ball hitters. Get it set up right. It's a club for everybody to use. It's a cracking driver, this. Um, the more I hit it, um, the more I like it. I think Mizuno have really come up with a driver here which should appeal to a lot of golfers. Remember, this is in the price bracket of um, G400 and TaylorMade, M4, that sort of price range, around about £349. Superb. Go and give it a try. It's definitely worth a hit. Thanks for watching, as always. Appreciate it. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up if you think it deserves it and post your comments down below. All the best, and I'll be back soon. Bye for now.